Welcome to Octahedron Institute. Today we will learn some techniques to remember the reactions for organic chemistry. It is very useful for ICAC, CBSE, and as well as State Board. Like, share, and subscribe our channel for more updates. So we will start with the reagents and their function. So reagents are very important. If you remember the reagents and their function, reactions uh, will be very easy for you. And I say it uh, nam and tam. So it is uh, very important. Now this nam and tam are very important. Nam and tam. Sorry, low no again. Now our first reagent is sulfuric acid conch. This is the name of the reagent. And what is the function? It, re it removes water molecule. I will write it removes water molecule minus water molecule. So with whichever compound uh, sulfuric acid will be reacting or in presence of sulfuric acid that compound will be reacting, sulfuric acid on its own will remove the water molecule. Now coming uh, KOH, potassium hydroxide alcoholic and potassium hydroxide aqueous. See the name of the compound is same, but uh, in alcoholic medium and in aqueous medium, the function is different. Now, KOH alcoholic is very selfish. Now, what the selfish person do? Uh, it only removes. Selfish person will only take, will not give you. So, what it removes? It removes halogen as well as hydrogen from an alkyl halide. From I'll write uh, from alkyl halide. So we will see the details of the reaction. Now KOH aqueous. What is KOH aqueous? KOH in aqueous medium. So it is a very good person, uh, just a technique to remember. Uh, so if it removes halogen, in place of halogen it will give OH. In place of halogen it will give OH. So it is very useful for preparation of alcohol. And this uh, alcoholic is very useful for preparation of alkene. Now bromine, Br2, you know bromine is brown in color. So we use it for test for unsaturation, means uh, if you want to differentiate between a saturated compound and an unsaturated compound, you will use Br2. Now the next one is, uh, I have written Tr over here, Tr means tolerance reagent. Fs means failing solution. So what is tolerance reagent? Tolerance reagent is ammonical silver nitrate. That means ammonium hydroxide plus silver nitrate. And failing solution is what? Is uh, ammonical cuprous chloride. So this means this two. NH4OH plus CuCl. Now, if these two reagents uh, react, we can uh, differentiate between alkene and alkyne by using these two reagents. We will see the details of the reaction. No? Now alcohol plus carboxylic acid, if they both these uh, compound react, they form a compound known as ester which has got a fruit like smell. You use it for a uh, flavored drinks, whatever flavored uh, drinks you are uh, getting in the market, they contain ester. Now another reagent is what? Soda lime. So soda lime is what? Sodium hydroxide plus calcium oxide. This reagent is used for decarboxylation. So what is decarboxylation? Means removal of carbon dioxide. And this is very useful reagent for preparation of alkane from sodium salt of carboxylic acid. Now remember one thing. From alcohol if I remove water I will find alkene. Likewise in alkene if I add water I will get alcohol but this should be in acidic medium. Now combustion of alkenes. Now how combustion of alkenes happen? Combustion of alkenes can happen in three ways. One is a excess of oxygen, one is limited of oxygen and one is very limited of, of oxygen. Now what oxygen is available in excess amount, the product will be carbon dioxide plus water plus heat. 
if it is available in a limited amount means you are uh, limiting the supply of oxygen it will be carbon monoxide plus water plus heat you can see one oxygen is not there now if it is very limited so there will be only carbon and water you can see the number of oxygen is reduced over here it is only C, CO and CO2 now we will go to oxidation of alkene oxidation of alkene now in oxidation of alkene what is the series actually uh, if you take one alkene and put it under oxidation uh, using the reagent like copper and potassium dichromate these two reagents these two reagents they will convert alkene into alcohol corresponding alcohol to corresponding aldehyde to corresponding carboxylic acid when i say corresponding means what means the number of carbons will be remaining same like if i take methane it will be methanol methanol and methanoic acid but if i don't use these reagents i use a reagent uh, molybdenum oxide uh, this is somewhat slow oxidizing agent okay so this slow oxidizing agent will convert alkane into aldehyde it will not go further now i have written a, written a reaction for that uh, like uh, this is methane if it reacts in presence of potassium dichromate and this national oxygen is a symbol of oxidation so this becomes methanol methanol and methanoic acid but if i use uh, molybdenum oxide like i have taken ethane uh, an alkane this will be converted into an aldehyde that is ethanol uh, i'll read, uh, read the name you must be knowing the name now we will go to compound wise now the first compound is alkane now how alkanes are prepared preparation if i take a sodium salt of carboxylic acid i have taken a sodium salt of carboxylic acid ch 3 coo na sodium acetate if it react with soda lime soda lime is what sodium hydroxide and calcium calcium oxide so this part will be removed and if this part removes what is remaining ch3 and h is ch4 and what is there na2 co3 so remember one thing this compound containing two number of carbon but the alkane that is prepared is containing one number of carbon if you take n number of carbons over here you will find a compound containing n minus one number of carbon like if i take sodium ethanoid uh, sorry if i take sodium propanoid ethane will be prepared if i take sodium butanoid propane will be prepared on carbonless this is the first method the second method of preparation is if i take uh, methyl iodide and i react it with nascent hydrogen so in presence of zinc and copper couple so one hydrogen will be uh, replacing one iodine and will be ch4 will be prepared and hi will be there the third method of preparation is from alkene you know alkene is c2h4 c2h4 reacts with h2 so this is having a double bond then this double bond will be broken and h2 will be added and write the form so here is a, uh, one h will come one h will come this bond will be broken this h will come over here and this h will come over here ch3 and ch3 becomes c2h6 We'll go to next like uh, chemical reactions so you know in chemical reactions alkane will undergo substitution reaction and if you don't know if you don't know what is substitution reaction so substitution reaction is removing some element and putting another element like ch4 reacts with cl2 in presence of diffused sunlight this i have written here h new h new means sunlight energy so ch4 when reacts with cl2 one hydrogen is removed and one chlorine is getting replaced so this becomes what ch3 cl and hcl is there now again if i react cl2 with this compound uh, so it will become uh, ch2 cl2 again you can see that the replacement is happening if i react with again cl2 it will become ch cl3 and again with ccl4 next is uh, combustion reaction 
uh, in combustion reaction is uh, CH4 reacting with uh, oxygen uh, excess amount excess amount will become CO2 plus carbon dioxide and I forgot to write heat so you know uh, this heat is uh, released so this is an exothermic reaction what is an exothermic reaction so the reaction that liberates it that absorbs it is known as endothermic reaction so since it is an exothermic reaction so we use uh, methane ethane propane butane as a fuel now uh, you need to balance this reaction now remember one thing i have written a general formula for balancing the reaction if you take a CnH2n plus 2 alkane, see this n is what? Number of carbon. So, how many oxygen you need? 3n plus 1 divided by 2. How many carbon dioxide will be released? n number. Means here, if n is 1, it will be 1. And how many water molecules will be liberated? n plus 1. Like in this case, our carbon number is 1. Okay, so oxygen number will be 3 into 1, that is 3, plus 1, 4. 4 by 2 is 2. Two number of oxygen. How many number of carbon dioxide will be released? So carbon is one, so it will be one. So I don't have to write anything. Now what number of water molecule will be there? Carbon number is one. One plus one is two. Okay, so it is balanced. Like uh, it is very easy, but if you take uh, number of uh, carbon as uh, carbon are more, so this technique will be very helpful for balancing the reaction. Next is oxidation that we have already done that uh, if you take copper and potassium dichromate it will be alkene will be converted to alcohol again to aldehyde again to carboxylic acid and if you take molybdenum oxide this is very mild oxidizing agent this will convert alkene to only aldehyde and the reaction will stop. Uh, coming to pyrolysis, pyrolysis is uh, something like a breaking of alkanes. Like if I, if I hit uh, alkane at 500 degree centigrade, uh, this alkane will be converted to alkene and hydrogen will be released. But if I, but if I hit the alkane at 1500 degree centigrade, you can see the heat is more here. So if heat is more, then the bonds will be broken maximum number of bonds will be broken and it will be alkyne plus hydrogen simple so we will go to the next compound known as alkene you know alkene has got a general formula of what CnH2n so there will be a double bond so this compound is known as ethene and the general name is what ethylene this is the common name is the common name. This is the general formula. So IUPAC name is ethyl. Now we will go to preparation. It is very simple. Now we have learned the action of sulfuric acid kong. What is What does sulfuric acid kong do? So sulfuric acid kong removes the water molecule. It is a, a dehydrating agent. So it will remove the water molecule. See this is the structural formula of ethanol. It removes the water molecule and what will be prepared? C2H4. Now if this water molecule is removed, now this carbon has to form a double bond. So it will become C2H4 and water molecule will be liberated. This is the first method of preparation. We will go to the next method of preparation. Uh, this is the action of uh, this is the action of KOH uh, aqueous actually so here alcohol will be prepared but if I take KOH alcoholic KOH alcoholic so alcoholic uh, will only remove will only remove so it will remove K will remove Br and OH will remove H so the compound prepared will be C2H4 and K will remove Br so there will be KPR. OH will remove H. So this will be water. Now in this reaction, I have shown you the difference of action of KOH aqueous 
and KOH alcoholic. The same compound in presence of KOH alcoholic will give ethene and the same compound in presence of KOH aqueous will form alcohol. So KOH aqueous what it will do? K will remove BR but being not selfish, being a very good person. So OH will be replaced in place of BR and alcohol will be prepared. But here we have this reaction which is the preparation of alkyl. Okay. Now we will go to the chemical property. In chemical property, the first property is hydrogenation and you know what is hydrogenation? Hydrogenation is addition of hydrogen and this double bonded compound they will form addition reaction because they have a double bond. They have a double bond means there is an unsaturation that means they are in need of hydrogen. So what is the reagent that is nickel 300 degree centigrade. This is the reagent and C2H4 plus H2 will become C2H6. Now we will go to bromination. Bromination means what? Addition of bromine. Now we have done it in uh, NAM, and, NAM or CAM. So this bromine is used for test for unsaturation. Now how it is used test for unsaturation? Now this bromine Br2 is initially brown in color. So when uh, Br2 is added to C2H4 in CCl4 medium carbon tetrachloride they, there will be 1 2 dibromoethane. This particular compound is known as 1 2 1 2 dibromoethane. So this compound is colorless. So the brown color is discharged. Brown color is getting discharged. But if you add bromine to an alkane or to ethane, the brown color will not be discharged because bromine will not react. Now the next reaction is oxidation. Oxidation of alkene. So oxidation of alkene is done in presence of cold, dilute, alkaline, k 4 So this k 4 is purple in color. Cold, dilute, alkaline, k 4 Now if I take this compound here, this compound here, so uh, this will be reacting in presence of H2O and natural oxygen. Now there will be a compound prepared known as ethane 1 to diode. Ethane 1 to diode. Now this H2O and O combinedly will form 2 OH and this double bond will be broken and 1 OH here and 1 OH here. So this compound is known as ethane 1 to diode. So here the purple color of the k 4 will become colorless. That is the observation. This is very important. This is the observation. In your exam, you will be uh, finding many questions based on observation. As it is, I am preparing uh, one more video only on observation. So, if you subscribe my video, you will be getting the updates. Now, the next reaction is uh, polymerization. So, what is polymerization? Uh, you know, polymerization is what? Many small, small molecules many small small molecules, many means n number of, will be uh, compressed at high pressure and high temperature and will form only one molecule, means a bigger molecule will be prepared. Okay, like small small water droplets, they combine and make a big water droplet. So, small small uh, molecules, they combine under high pressure and high temperature to form a bigger molecule. So, this process is known as polymerization. Like if you take, these are known as monomer, these are known as polymer. So if you take ethene over here, polyethene will be prepared. Whatever polyethene you are using, that is under polymerization pressure, polymerization process. Now uh, here reaction with ozone. So if you take ethene and you react with that compound with ozone in presence of ether, this compound will be prepared known as ethylene ozonide. So you break the double bond 
put a oxygen here and another two oxygen will be linked like this known as ethylene ozonide the name of the compound plus ozonide so here i say that uh, there is a house this is like a house like structure now the next compound is alkyne so here is alkyne alkyne has got a general uh, formula of cnh 2n minus 2 as you can see uh, from alkene alkene is a formula uh, alkene is having a formula of cnh 2n plus 2 alkene is having a formula of cnh 2n and alkyne is having a formula of cnh 2n minus 2 so the number of hydrogen is decreasing that means unsaturation is increasing so unsaturation is increasing so this compound the first member is ethyne and the formula is C2H2 if you take N as 2 so H will be 2 into 2 4 minus 2 will be 2 only so this is the structure now coming to preparation the first method of preparation is from uh, calcium carbide so this is the structure of calcium carbide huh? so if uh, this reacts with water molecule two water molecule I have written two water molecule like this and two hydrogen and these two carbon will be removed and this will be urethane and here is calcium here are two hydroxide so this will be calcium hydroxide now in the next method of preparation here is a alkyl halide alkyl dihalide so this the name of the compound is 1,2 dibromoethane 1,2 dibromoethane so if I react 1 to dibromoethane in presence of two alcoholic KOH here are two alcoholic KOH two potassium will be removing two bromine two hydroxide will be removing two hydrogen what is remaining C2H2 and two KBR and two water molecule in case of alkene we have taken uh, only one KOH and we have reacted with that, that with uh, bromoethane but here we have taken two KOH and we are reacting that in presence of one to dibromoethane now the chemical properties here in chemical property The first reaction is catalytic hydrogenation. The same reaction that we have done in uh, alkene. But here the reaction will be in two steps. In the first step, the triple bond will be broken to double bond. In the second step, double bond will be broken to single bond. So in C2H2, the reaction with H2NI, same at 300 degrees centigrade, it will be C2H4 and C2H4, when reacts will react in presence of H2NI, will be prepared C2H6. Now the next reaction is halogenation. Like hydrogenation is addition of hydrogen, so halogenation is addition of halogen. You know what are halogens? The group 17 members are known as halogens. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. So here I am taking chlorine. And uh, chlorine if I add chlorine C2H2 chlorine, so this compound should be prepared triple bond will be broken into double bond and again if I add some more chlorine double bond will be broken into single bond and do you know what is the name of this compound this compound is 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 tetra bromoethane tetra bromoethane if I add bromine here also the brown uh, color of the bromine will be discharged in this reaction from here to here and that is also a test for unsaturation next reaction now here again with the reaction of ozone remember there it was ethene and here it is ethyne the general name is acetylene sorry not general name common name common name is acetylene and from ethylene 
the compound prepared was known as ethylene ozonide. So from acetylene, the compound prepared will be acetylene ozonide. Now you can see the difference in the structure. There it was ghar. Here it is mandir. वहाँ पे घर बनेगा और यहाँ पे क्या बनेगा मंदिर। It's just a trick to remember. And the name of the compound is acetylene ozonide. Now oxidation with the cold dilute alkaline cheminophore. The same reaction we have done in uh, alkene also. Now here uh, same uh, water plus nitrogen oxygen will also be there. Now there when KMnO4 H2O plus nitrogen oxygen was there, the compound prepared was ethane 1 to diol, but here it is ethane 1 to dioic acid, commonly it is known as oxalic acid. You can see two acidic group over here and two carbons are there. If two carbons, ethane, it is the one position, it is two position. So ethane 1 to di means two oic acid. Here the observation is very important. The purple color will become green. There it was purple was becoming colorless. So compare the reactions and you will be remembering it very easily. Now here comes the Tollens reagent and failing semiconductor test. So I, I have told you what is Tollens reagent. Again I am telling you Tollens reagent. The spelling is like this Tollens reagent. Tollens reagent is ammonical, that is ammonium hydroxide, ammonical silver nitrate, and the failing solution, failing solution is ammonical Q plus chloride. So, you know, silver looks uh, white, silver is white in color, so it will give white precipitate copper is somewhat reddish so it will become red precipitate now when they react these two hydrogens will be replaced by these two hydrogens and encircling them will be replaced by silver and this compound is known as silver acetylid and here these two hydrogens will be replaced by copper it will be copper acetylate. So this will be white precipitate and this will be red precipitate. And this compound is used to differentiate between differentiate between alkene and alkyne. So to differentiate between alkene and alkyne we will use failing, failing solution and tolerance reagent. So alkene will not react. Alkene will not react. Alkene will not react and alkyne will react. Alkyne will react. So by reacting it will give white precipitate and red precipitate. White precipitate when Tollens region is taken. Red precipitate when failing solution is taken. Next compound is our alcohol. So alcohol is the general formula is CnH2n plus 1 OH means one H will be replaced by OH and the compound the commonly used compound is your C2H5OH that is ethanol this is the IUPAC name and common name is ethyl alcohol like if I take CH3OH this is methanol common name is methyl alcohol preparation the first method of preparation is buying an aqueous KOH. We have done that. It's a very good person. It will remove chlorine and put OH in that. So C2H5OH will be prepared and KCl will be removed. Again, if I take C2H4 and add water to that, so it will be coming C2H5OH in phosphoric acid. So I have told you, like from alcohol, if I remove water, alkene will be there. And in alkene, if I add water, alcohol will be prepared and but remember this water will not be normal water not cold water it will be steam now if I take glucose this compound is what glucose in presence of zymase under fermentation will be forming C2H5OH and carbon dioxide will be released this is a anaerobic respiration 
you have done it in biology also we'll go to reactions so alcohol like any other compound will also be uh, reacting to oxygen under combustion and will be forming carbon dioxide and water next is oxidation we have done it in alkane so alcohol under oxidation with potassium dichromate will be forming aldehyde again under oxidation will be forming carboxylic acid with sodium alcohol will be reacting so sodium being a very active metal will be sodium being very active metal and on the top of the activity series will be replacing this hydrogen and what will be prepared C2H5ONA and H2 will be liberated so here alcohol is behaving as an acid you have learned that when an acid reacts with a active metal a salt and a hydrogen is released so this the name of this compound is sodium sodium ethoxide see you know that oxygen is there means ether group is there so this is ethoxide this part is ethoxide and this is sodium now reaction of alcohol with acid so reaction of alcohol with acid is known as esterification so the name of this reaction is esterification so in esterification alcohol is reacting with acid to form ester this compound is ester and removing water the name of this compound is what ethyl ethyl ethanoid so you can see this is there are two carbons here and there are two carbons this side so this will be ethyl ethanoid now how these compounds are prepared you can see H from this compound and OH from this compounds are removed and see CH3C CH3C O and this O C2H5 and this water is there and this compound prepared is known as ester and is having a fruit like smell fruit like smell the next reaction is in presence of Kong sulfuric acid so what is a Kong sulfuric acid you know the property I am writing it again dehydrating agent dehydrating agent so Kong sulfuric acid uh, at 170 degree centigrade here I forgot to write at 170 degree centigrade will form ethene C2H4 and water but if I take 2 ethanol at 140 degree centigrade I have reduced temperature ethene will not be prepared rather than one ether will be prepared I will tell you how and what will be so this I have told you see here I have taken two ethanol I have written one ethanol over here and one ethanol over here in this case since temperature was more so from so from one molecule one water molecule was removed here since temperature is less so from two uh, two molecules of ethanol one water molecule will be removed because temperature is less so less chance of bond breaking is there so less bonds will be broken so from two molecules one water molecule will be removed see i have removed from two molecules i have re removed one water molecule what is prepared c2h5o and c2h5 this is known as diethyl ether or the IUPAC name is ethoxy ethane ethoxy ethane the general name is alkoxy alkane general name of ether is alkoxy alkane and that of uh, ester is alkyl alkanoid so i will uh, explain you the details of nomenclature in my next video now the last compound we have is carboxylic acid 
So what is carboxylic acid? If this group will be there, you will come to know that this compound is a carboxylic acid. So the details of bond structure is like this C double bond O, O and H. This is carboxylic acid. And here it will be combined with any of the alkyl group. I will write R like this R. So R can be any of the alkyl group. So if CH3, C double bond O, O and H is there, this compound is known as ethanoic acid. Now, how to prepare this? We can prepare this by oxidation of ethyl alcohol. I can take ethyl alcohol. I can uh, oxidize that compound in presence of potassium dichromate. This will become ethanol and again it will become ethanoic acid. Simple. By hydrolysis of ester. By hydrolysis of ester. This is very important. Now this word hydrolysis is what? Now many of you think like that, that hydrolysis is just addition of water. Now every time it is not addition of water. I will tell you what is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis means, do you remember this concept? Hydrolysis means what? There can be two meaning. One can be, you can add water molecule in acidic medium. You can add OH group in basic medium. So here we have taken, uh, we are adding water molecule in H plus means acidic medium. So CH3, CO, C2H5. So this will again become CH3COH and C2H5OH. This is split into alcohol and carboxylic acid. Now the reactions. As you know, this is an acid, so this will react with a base to form salt and water. So this acid, from this acid, this H was removed. So in place of H, Na came, that is a salt, this is salt. And this H and this OH will form what? Water. Now, being an acid, if it will react with a carbonate, metallic carbonate, it will form what? Same salt, but what? Along with the water, carbon dioxide will also come because of carbonate. Now, if it reacts with active metal, with active metal, it will forming, it will be forming salt and hydrogen will be liberated, like sodium and magnesium have taken. Magnesium has got a valency of 2, so it will form magnesium acetate. It is sodium acetate. Now the last reaction is esterification. This we have already done. So we have done all the reactions. And I think you have, uh, it is very easy for you to remember. Now we will just have a recap, quick recap. Quick recap. So again remember the Nam and Kam. Diffuse sunlight. What diffuse sunlight will do? It will do substitution reaction of alkanes. Nickel 300. Nickel 300 will be used for hydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes. Sulfuric acid conch. Sulfuric acid conch. At 170 it will form alkene from alcohol. At 140 it will form ether from alcohol. Basically, it is doing dehydration. What it is doing? Dehydration. Now, Tollens reagent. It will form a white precipitate from ethane. Now, failing solution. It will form a red precipitate from alkyne or ethane. This is copper acetylide and that was silver acetylide. Bromine, the brown color will be discharged and used for test for answer to reason. Soda lime, NaOH plus CaO, quick lime. It will convert the sodium salt of carboxylic acid into its alkane. KOH alcoholic, 
it will convert alkyl halide to alkene KOH aqueous it will convert alkyl halide to alcohol now potassium dichromate or copper or copper it will form alkene from alkene it will form alcohol aldehyde and corresponding carboxylic acid but if i take molybdenum oxide it will form aldehyde from alkene because it is a very mild oxidizing agent now this is all about your uh, reactions and reaction technique if you like my video then uh, like it share it and subscribe it for more updates also if you have more doubts or if you want a particular chapter you can whatsapp me on this number 9730616 Four one seven. You can WhatsApp me, and I'll prepare the video of that. Thank you.